You know who is very happy to see Nick Fuentes back in the saddle on Zitter? Ethan Ralph. Nick Fuentes posts his triumphant uh, Patrick Starr Spongebob meme as he returns to Zitter. And Ethan Ralph says, Congratulations, it's good to see you back. To which Alex asks, Are we pro Fuentes again? He says, I dropped the beef a long time ago. It was a rough time in my life and certain people took advantage. I regret it. And any anti-Zionist voice is welcome, in my opinion. Um, so to clarify, in case you don't remember, in case you're blessed and you don't know anything about Ethan Ralph, Ethan Ralph is a fat retard. He streams on Cozy, or did it stream on Cozy. Cozy is uh, Nick Fuentes' personal streaming platform that nobody else uses except for him. Uh... And at a certain point, Ethan Ralph realized that he is the pet retard of America first. Nobody likes him. Everyone thinks that he's a... Because at the time, he was like super shit-faced on pills every night. And everyone just like made fun of him and hated him constantly. And he kind of realized that even though Nick Fuentes never said anything um, untowards Ethan Ralph... He kind of realized that all of the capos around Fuentes bullied him relentlessly, or like not really relentlessly, but they kind of sneaked dissed him. And Ralph is retarded, but he's intelligent enough to know when the vibe of everyone around him is like mocking towards him. So he got really pissed off one day, and he was in like personally invited to attend um, AFPAC, which is Fuentes's. Um, like little little conferences that he does and small venues where he like tries to put on like a Hitler performance, but it's always like a disaster. So he he shows up in Florida for this AFPAC and he's like started at some point he starts a fight with Fuentes and gets really pissed off that Fuentes, who's in the middle of preparing for like his biggest event of the year is not answering his messages promptly enough, so he just assumes that Fuentes hates him now. And he goes off and starts dumping docs of, like, Fuentes' best, like, capos, which is a really big deal because Fuentes is maligned as a neo-Nazi. So if you're in America first and you're docs, well, that really hurts your... It genuinely hurts your job prospects because people like Gabe Hoffman and Antifa organizations will hunt down who you are and, and your family and try to ruin your family's businesses and stuff because... You know, it's anti-fascism, so therefore it's all, all all above board. So it's a really fucking dick move to to start snaking on all your all all your people in that organization if you're supposed to be down with it. Um But he does that, right? So where am I at? He's on Cozy, he says fuck Fuentes. And then he, he um, starts up a stream on Rumble, and he's, like, doing all this shit. And I, I want to encourage this because I don't like Fuentes, and I want to see America First have problems. So I, I talked to Ralph for the first time in, like, over a year. And I, I try to keep him on track and keep him talking about Fuentes and stuff. And for some reason, a lot of people who are very low IQ and who don't understand what the Kiwi Farms is and what my show is and what my interests are – just assumed that I was trying to help Ralph and I was obviously trying to get him to, to dump all his dirt on Fuentes. Uh, so that's what he's referring to when he says uh, people took advantage of that situation. But to be clear, I, I, I mean, I did take advantage of the situation, but I, I didn't start it. <laughs> I didn't like prompt Ralph into doxing people in America first. Um, and what's really, 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 like, sickening about Ralph going back to Fuentes is just, like, what shit happened. Like, first of all, the the Groypers are going to treat him like a pet retard, for sure. Like, he'll never have vertical escalation in America First. Uh, Fuentes will never trust him again. None of the Cozy people will ever trust him again. If he's allowed to have a place on Cozy, it will be strictly so that... Nick Fuentes can advertise Cozy and America First to more people. Um, they all make fun of him and call him a retard. Uh, and so on. And then, this is the most shocking, is that when uh, Ralph was actively snaking on Fuentes, and Fuentes addressed this issue, 
There were people in um, in his live chat saying, Rape Rosie, the fatherless whore. This is Mac Groiper. If you don't know, Rosie at this time was a one-year-old infant baby girl. And the America First people, the first thing they jump to is rape a toddler. Not even a toddler, an infant, to spite Ethan Ralph. Even saying that is just, like, fucked up. But then, I think even worse, even worse than saying that particular sentence is accepting those people, going back to those people and groveling and trying to get back in their good graces for monetary compensation is like the most stomach churning level of cuckoldry that has ever existed where you have people threatening your infant and you're just like, yeah, well, you know what? We, we squashed the beef. I don't care if they said they wanted to rape my daughter. I don't care about my daughter. I care about my son, Xander. They can say whatever they want about Rosie. Fuck Rosie. I care about Xander. It's just like, it's like, would you, I think out of like, if you were to rank um, Ethan Ralph's Piggly Wiggly moments from most piggalicious to least piggalicious and base, uh, him going back to America first after this shit is like the most piggalicious that you could possibly get. The most debased, pathetic, weak-willed, groveling, uh, just utterly craven and disgusting and subhuman. Uh, I think it's probably one of the, his worst, most pathetic moments. And it's just, it, like, it, I mean, it's, it's up there. There's some other shit. But that's all, like, on stream. As far as, like, actual, like, decisions that he's made as a sober person, unfucking believable Just genuinely unfucking believable that he would do this. I'm not saying a lot because it's Ralph. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.